my great honor to introduce uh, Mr. Sha Sa Sundaram Prabhu, IAS, uh, retired, a distinguished fi uh, figure with a remarkable career in public service and corporate leadership. Mr. Prabhu has served as the Principal Accountant General of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, ensuring the highest standards of financial governance. His expertise is back and backed by an impressive array of uh, certifications including CIA, CISA and uh, CRISC along with and his qualifications in, in cyber law, patent law and defense and strategic studies. He has also been an expert consultant, advisor and international trainer in several key projects around the world from World Bank initiatives in Kabul to leadership roles in Aziz Bank and as the chairman and CEO of Consulsis India. Currently serves as an advisor and strategic planner to government governments and corporations in India and globally, including, including Dubai, Afghanistan, Nepal, UK and USA. With his vast experience and global impact, Mr. Sundaram Prabhu is a true leader in finance, governance and strategy. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Sundaram Prabhu, IAS, to the stage. Sir, please. Honorable members who are present at the dais, including the chief guest and Mr. Balu Swaminathan, who is the pivotal stone for the Saisi Asan date, and the younger community who are here looking forward for a lot of thoughts that emanate from uh, the experts. I would like to humbly say, I mean, uh, say that I was also part of the premier organization to induce all these crimes and crime initiatives and the action to be taken on those initiatives along with the National Scientific Advisor and National Security Advisor since 2004. Why I want to say this is because when you talk about the financial crimes, when you talk about cyber crimes, I my dear young colleagues who are all present here, even today I am running over the world, attending various parts of the meeting, in various parts of the world, different meetings. But I want to say that the fraud nature on the financial crimes or any crime is not changed. The color is changed, but not the human intention. If we talk about the human intention, many of our people will say that we have law enforcement agencies, we have courts, we have many other issues. What did we do on the technology side? Did we really do something on the technology side? That was the reason why the premier organization, National Technical Research Organization was formed under the aegis of NSA in Prime Minister's office. Many of us may not know exactly what's they are, what are they doing. Do you know that, that we have a financial intelligence unit in Tamil Nadu, which serves for the world? Many of us are not aware. The reason is that we have been doing this for quite some time. Especially Tamil Nadu, Chennai, has got that much of depth in these particular areas. I would like to say the words, when you talk about the financial crimes, people may talk about the regulatory compliance, people may talk about the capacity building in giving their knowledge base. They said that internal controls in the systems, IT controls should be enhanced. How the technology can be utilized to prevent these frauds, how to collaborate different agencies involved in this to prevent the financial crimes. Is it not our duty to aware, make them to aware what we can do about it? I will tell you an incident. I was principal accountant general. I was also IT vision committee chairman in India. That's why along with Mr. Gopal Krishnan, sir, I was the vice chairman. I want to write the cyber law examination. I was sitting in the examination hall. The second paper was cyber crimes. Part of that are mainly financial crimes. Financial crimes, you know, as an accountant general or principal accountant general, we are comfortable with. 
but when the question was handed over to me, I saw the questions for 15 minutes. I don't know what happened to me. Totally perplexed, totally stubble, totally disturbed, and distorted. Then, after some time, I regained my strength and started doing it. The Nalser University, the National Law University, gave me a distinction in that paper. Why I say that? The problems are all like this. Many of us are still talking about the basic issue. I think the chairman, Mr. Vijay Kumar, has enlightened it or has said it so nicely. But I would like to see how many of us are aware of these people who have been monetizing the, but the entire system. He missed to mention India. I was, uh, last year I was in the uh, uh, US in a couple of cities. I'm going along with the cyber chief of the internal security, director, global cyber security chief. Along with them, I was traveling. So we bought a new laptop. We bought, we bought a new la laptop. We were installing it. All of a sudden, that laptop got stuck. When the laptop got stuck, they said, your system, total system has failed. Please contact this number. I contacted the, everybody, you know, the people are playing with our emotional feelings, you know. Once it happens like that, oh, new one, what happened? Oh, I got a message in telephone. Oh, some, something has happened. This is the trend today. The financial crimes, apart from overridging the technological issues, they started playing with the human element, element emotions. That is what exactly happened. I would like to reiterate this point to you. He may be an IG. I may be a principal accountant general. He may be a lawyer. He, you may be a student. When you got disturbed with a message, what will you do? You are panicking. That is what there the man plays a game. That man told me, sir, do you know this, uh, you know, this uh, any disk program? Any disk. I pretended as though I don't know anything. Any disk. No, you know, it will be like diamond. I told him it's the round one. No, no, switch it on that. Then that fellow, after half an hour, he told me, 230, bloody thing, bloody fellows. You know, the headquarters was in Delhi. The headquarters was in Delhi. It's, they are working like a, a big industry. They are having big, big industries in India also. West Bengal, Gurgaon. They are telling that it is IT company. They cheated me. See, he want to cheat me. When we were little vigil, he says that I have cheated them. This is the present day life. When I started my, after my career superannuation, I thought, let me get into this. I had, uh, you know, this PKI, public key infrastructure. There was one uh, Canadian library, white noise laboratory came with a very, very, very vital uh, key, uh, password called, uh, key infrastructure called, you know, this, uh, they, that changes every 15 seconds. Dynamic verification, identification and authentication software like your PKI infrastructure. I have shared the meeting with Dr. Whitwell Defay in Bangalore on a security bite meet along with top people. He tells to me this will be good to protect your data in data in wherever it is stored there, data in motion, data at rest, data in the equipments. Let us see, only I want to touch upon only two points. Where do we use the banking today, our financial operations today? Where is it stored? Are we not doing mobile banking today? Have you not got all the things on your fingertip? We are very proud of it. How many of us are safe on that? How many of us are very secure on that? Have you thought about it? Have you thought about it? We keep our passwords, we keep our everything open. Please switch it off. Please close it. As and when even the face ID. Face ID has got a problem. It only goes to the bones. So you have to be very careful. Whenever you complete a transaction, please log out successfully. Come out of that. The boys are waiting. 
when i did another program this program i bought a program called uh, mad mobile active defense i got it on a proprietary basis for india i went to reserve bank mr raghuram rajan sir was there he was very happy to see that the unfortunate thing is this was extremely useful for the iphone at that time the iphone population in india was not that high whatever i bought was not could not be monetized at that time this is 2014 now now the defense sector as uh, defense departments have purchased it the next one we thought that where are you storing the material it's all in servers and i used to when then we went and we went all over uh, us all over europe finally come to a conclusion that secure cloud is uh, one option that we can think about it in that we had used the word micro tokenization and micro en encryption of sensitive data elements i'm going to show that i'm going to show how is it going to uh, when like that when i said micro tokenization i went to the bank's chiefs i gave the presentation everybody looked at me prabhu what is this i have not heard about this are you this will, we will spend so much of money i think your rbi friend also sir also will be accepted why should i waste my money why should i waste 26 dollars a year for a mobile why should i waste so much money for this server in the bank i told him sir a day will come that your money will be wiped off till that time he never bothered i said what is micro tokenization what is micro encryption luckily my batchmate was the secretary of pm i went to him and told him boss just have a look at this show it to the prime minister whenever you you could get time whatever we have inculcated into his mind whatever we have imbibed in his thoughts it came into force in india only in 2023 what we did it in 2014 if this is the pace that we are going to face it in india is it not posing a great challenge is it not posing a great uh, when, uh, issue that is why the youngsters should always do the research when we conducted a critical information infrastructure protection conference under the aegis of national scientific advisor the national anti scientific advisor told if you don't care for all these things you will be doomed second thing once this happens the police department or the deterrent forces should take appropriate action okay if they take action is it okay no not at all madam has to take it to the court she has to prove it in front of the judge have our cyber laws are all comfortable how many amendments it has seen my young friends you have to do the research he was chairman was telling the president of this association was telling we should take it to the industry i would love, love to say that we ought to do the work then you have to take it to the academia he used the word academia we have to use take it to the industry and commercialize it and make everybody aware that these are all the issues that is needed to arrest or minimize our financial crimes do you think that financial crimes are happening only because of technology lapses not at all human element knows how to exploit the other human many a times we get to know your message comes we get throttle you will a time we get a link we get disturbed many a times we get uh, some information we thought that we should run to protect ourselves in that panicking mode they exploit us they are there are vulnerable what he said about so many attacks either it is passive or active we have to be very vigilant my day stock is like that i would like to just show how the micro tokenization and micro encryption works and after that i will take another two minutes because my time limit is always there yeah make it bigger make it bigger uh, run it bigger ma uh, yes leave it as yes, it is look at that picture yeah how this micro tokenization all sensitive data is coming there that has been removed and it is uh, immediately removed and it is stored with a pipe with a proprietary micro token and get secured once it gets secured the process happens 
we keep the token in that place and they replaced by a micro token so nobody could access on that even if they get access to this they will get only the token there is very very difficult to do that and and you know it is highly secured second thing is how is it stored it's just to have a look at that it's all scattered data is secured and tokenization has been done and it is done redundancy why we should not keep it in one place normally you know that continuity of business can happen only when you have all these facilities look at this thing so it is redundant redundancy see that the last area the systems how is it going how is it coming back go to the next slide ma'am so uh, go to the front go to the front front part first one the previous one uh, yeah uh, go go up sir only one or two slides that is i will not uh, uh, yeah the, th the third one this one go ahead with this uh, yeah See, here, I, I'll pick it up, don't worry. There, we walk and talk. See, data at rest, data in motion, data over any network. If you can secure this, will there be any problem on the technological issues? Can you say that your server is secured? Can anybody in this hall vouch for that, that you are secured? I am very sorry friends, they, unless and until we get to know that somebody is exploited and it is on the grey network, we are not aware of it. That is the pity of this particular area. So, I really appreciate Mr. Baluswaminathan and uh, Saisi to put this topic, not the remedial action, but the prevention. But the prevention, unless we take preventive cure both on the technological side but also on the human front. People cannot monetize this. They are running this as an industry to exploit every stage wherever the data is passed on. I have got a mobile active defense. There is one more slide. I don't want to get into that because it will be a classroom type. I, just, I want to tell you, we we'll go to the one more slide, the so next one. The colored one, yeah. Here, I would like to say, say a few words only on this. Th that is okay. We have to secure the data. Whatever format we can do it, our friends are going to do it. We have to take the appropriate decision. Then they have to move forward. Only one issue I would like to say. Honorable colleagues from the police department, be aware of the rules and regulations thoroughly. It's very, very, very difficult to prove. Even in US, I have been seen many of the areas. I've gone and sat in the courtrooms along with the experts. Very difficult to prove. They may mask it. They may masquerade it. But a day has come. They are ready to reveal their identity. Mobile number, port it, phone money, message, they have become more encouraged. If that be the case, what action we have taken with them? Are we in a position to identify them correctly? Not at all. Not at all. Unless you take appropriate action, if you are going to beat me, if you are going to punish me, then only I will say salute, sir. Right? Yes. When will I respect court? When whatever things that you are putting as per the law, enacted by the government, is executed, implemented, your punishment and things are all vetted by the court and an award is passed, or a judgment is given, unless these two agencies do well, I can tell you, it's very difficult to survive in this particular world. He said crows, I am seeing billions. My one hour debt rate is $400 on this specialized area. But we, I, there is a big thing. These are all proprietary items. That's why I'm not showing it to you, all of you. Otherwise, I'll share this entire slides with you. I pay money. Buy this for Indian territory. 
I give it to the agencies. I give it to NTRO. I give it to normally I don't spell that thing because we were under official secret act till 2015. I cannot even speak. That's why I was not available. Even though I am a member of the SIC for long years, I uh, never come and discuss with them. After 2015, when things have been cleared, we can talk about it. But by that time, I was in Kabul. I'll end up with only one word in Kabul. Don't you feel Kabul is a better place to work? How many of you say that is a better place to work? Is it a bad place to work? Yes or no? Yeah? Yes. I can tell you that is the best place to work. Best place to work. Everyone in that city has got iPhone. They are fully aware of the rights of the entire thing, either on data on rest, or data on motion, either on your laptop, or on your phone, or in your servers. I'm running the bank. I'm the chairman of the bank. Not by because of me, but because of the Prime Minister, present Prime Minister. Even now, I'm not going there. After 2021 August, I'm not going there. But still, they don't leave me. As for the Indo-Afghan relationship, I have to continue at least online till they get a substitute. It's not that difficult. It is not that I mean, tough. Whereas the educated rogues, the well-educated rogues, the intelligent rogues are much worse than them. So the prevention of financial crimes cannot be underestimated unless and until we tackle these people, target them. My dear young people, my dear young friends, you are the target. Even now I'm running. If I can run, can't you gallop? Come out with your new thoughts. Come out with your new innovations. Do you, I mean, SIC can always coordinate these activities. Reserve Bank, sir, take them for some classes. Take them for this, what is happening in the bank. And one or two live crimes, you show it to them. Seeing is believing. The, why I said about Kabul and why I said about the third day, we have robust technology built in there. But any technology is not robust unless and until we prove it to be low, robust, unless and until we save our money. And I want to tell you one thing. Not only we saved our money, we also made things better. A better day should come with the word called knowledge refinery. You know what is knowledge refinery? How many of us have got the domain knowledge? How many of us got uh, your IT experts have got the domain knowledge? They cannot have an handshake between the expert and the friends who have the domain knowledge. He does the uh, computerization. The domain friend is not aware of it. How many GMs are aware of the IT areas that's happening? They leave it to a, a level one officer or level two officer. Then how can you protect yourself? When you want a security, don't you need NSG for the top man? Yes or no? That's the way we have to think about it. With these words, be alert, be careful. Even if I say that, I may also slip down. If I, in the winkle of a jiffy of a second, if I miss my step. Thank you very much for this opportunity. And let us rejoice the discussion what is going to happen in the future. Thank you, sir. I came here by accident. I want this, individual, this entire activity for today should be a great incident for all of us. Thank you, friends. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the wonderful insights. I think your presence is no accident. I think it was, uh, you know, uh, meant to be. Um, actually, it is really true, right? Uh, you know, RBI is bringing up a lot of security policies to be implemented, and banks are investing a lot of money to, you know, implement those security policies. But then, at uh, the end of the day, if a customer is revealing the OTP, your money is gone. And loss is a loss. Uh, uh, it has to be prevented, you know, rather than, uh, you know, then uh, feel for it. Okay. So.